Hey everybody, what's going on? Robert French here, aka Red Five French. Catching a little bit of heavy rain with you guys. I think this is like part 16. My ongoing journey through this game that I got free uh, with a free download of Detroit Become Human written and directed by the same director David Cage also known for his Beyond Two Souls work and uh, here we go Ash, I want you to assign every available man to finding even last night was really man frustrating day and night. kind of uh, bad mouth David Cage was looking last night I want you to keep an eye on the train stations the airports the bus terminals Every cop in the city on his ass. So the people really enjoying the lax. Uh, yes, Ethan Mars is the origami killer. Intensity of the um the gameplay. Then I don't know. Got caught up on a couple of different levels there that uh were a little frustrating yesterday. A little overcomplicated, I felt like. said some bad things about David Cage and I'm kind of sorry. But who knows, it might have been true. I don't know. It could be true. At any rate, definitely pissed me off. As you can see there, I'm clearly in some bad shape. I kept Lauren in the dark on this one. I'll pick her up from her place later on. Nice shot. Thank you. Please come in, Mr. Shelby. Would you care for a coffee? I've got oh, some. No, thanks. Do you play? I tried once, but I think the owner of the course is still looking for me. <laughs> it's an interesting sport. It requires strength, but also a cool head and absolute precision. Would you care to hit a few balls with me? There's no danger of damage. No, I don't really care for here. golf. Okay. Take off your jacket and grab a club. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Hopefully this will be a little more uh, relaxing than yesterday's gameplay. I think yesterday's gameplay was really frustrating because it wasn't just a matter of... Uh, the balls are in that basket. The, the quick time, kind of defense and stuff like that, but like also having to hold the controller, I feel like, a certain way. In order to press all the buttons, it's like six buttons you have to press at one time. It's just like, it's a little ridiculous. The most important thing is to grip the club correctly. When you feel ready, you swing. Well, it's only your first ball. You should try to strike it a little harder next time. Ooh, I'm assuming nice. you didn't invite me here just to play golf, Mr. Kramer. I hear you've been asking questions about my son. That's right. I want to know if Gordy is linked to the origami killer case in any way. time to set a note that yesterday. I think that's why I was having such a hard time yesterday. I was getting timed out. See, this is a bit more relaxing and a bit fun. My son had nothing to do with that sordid case. 
Well, then he has nothing to fear from my investigation. I wonder why more uh, games and you have no business game programmers, my like son. I, I told you, say, he had nothing don't to utilize do the, uh, the controller. The way this controller uh, is being utilized for this game. With all due respect, Mr. Kramer, it's up to me to decide who I want to investigate. Shaking it, flicking it. I'm an influential man, Mr. Shelby, and I pay very well for loyalty. Are you trying to buy the sound me? of rain? Let's just say I'm trying to show you where your the new house we just moved into has a. How much do you want to leave sunlight my son in the living room? The rain against that is just also one of my favorite sounds. I think you misunderstood me. We're supposed to get some I don't play that game. Heavy rain today, but uh. Don't go near my son, Mr. Shelby. So far, it's just been cloudy. If you do, you'll regret it. Have a nice day, Mr. Kramer. Yeah, we might catch a little bit tomorrow morning, which is nice. Another favorite thing is laying in bed listening to the rain early in the morning. He's gonna knock a light out, watch. I did do a little reading on David Cage this morning. Apparently he's a French-born uh, game developer or writer-director. And according to Wikipedia, he is an atheist, which is interesting given his uh, ability to tell stories that make you kind of question humanity and morality and all of that. Not that somebody who's not religious can't have, uh, <clears throat> you know, thoughts of um, what it means to be uh, human or what it means to have a soul, but um, after playing Detroit Become Human, uh, you know, humanity and faith... Porcelain is, lizards? They look new. Out of place with the rest of this old beat-up stuff. Uh, but again, like I said, uh, his um, story for uh, Detroit Become Human, um, really, like I said, questions what it means to kind of have a soul and what it means to be alive. And I wouldn't expect him to be like an overly religious person, but uh, definitely to have some kind of a faith himself. Or, you know, perhaps he was raised in a house that was really religious and so um, he's not now but you know perhaps that's where his ability to make you uh, question existence comes from what it means to be alive, what it means to be good, what it means to be bad. So at least all these characters in this story are kind of broken. But that's, does it make him bad? Shelby, does it make him bad? Not necessarily a good person, but does it make him a bad person? Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? You have 
five minutes to cut off the last section of one of your fingers in front of the camera. If you succeed, you will get your reward. Yeah, I gotta find a sharp object, something that'll make a clean cut. I don't want to have to start hacking away at it. The pain's gonna be intense. Gotta find some way to reduce it. They already burned this guy up. Put him through a car wreck, might as well. This is fucking nuts! I can't do it! I want to save Sean, but I refuse to do this! I have to go through with it. I have no choice, for Sean's sake. Stop being a wussy. Reminds me a lot of uh, some of the games I used to play on the DS. Um, the use of that controller. You have three minutes left. And the uh, ingenuity that was put into a lot of these games um, that I played on that handheld was just uh, really cool. Blowing on the microphone, the touch screen. Do it. <clears throat> Hop it up, baby. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, I want to do it now. I want to do it. Let's go. This game, this sort of kind of reminded me of Saw. With 
first started playing a little bit for some reason. I don't know what it was. Maybe just the colors. The sets and all that. Oh my gosh, it's going to be like an 8 button. Use the uh, steel, dude. right after I grab a shower. Wash my hands up a little bit. Wow. Cool. Unlocked a bonus and all it cost was a finger. Alright guys, gold finger. There we go. Check that out. Boom. That's any relation to Golden Eye. Golden Member. Alright, we're going to go ahead and log it off here. Uh, That's make sure you tune we're in, in position. for part Perfect. 17. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Hopefully, come clear today. We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Uh, thanks right for right. tuning in, tubing Plugging in. Patrol spotted his car. What's he doing? Uh, Beats me. You're the profiler, right? Next time. I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't hands. match the killer psychological profile. You know I will. I know what the jury's gonna choose between yeah, your theories and concrete proof. Later. 